What exterior home improvement will increase your home's resale value? That's the topic of my next video. What exterior home improvement gives you the best return for your dollar? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you see this uh, exterior projects chart that I have from the remodeling impact report through the National Association of Realtors, you notice that all the way up here, the one that's in orange, is a 105% return on your investment. Now that's a repair that if your house is in need of, definitely will give you a return for your dollar. That home repair is a new roof. Now naturally, I'm not telling you to put a roof on your house if you have 15 years left on it, but if your roof is borderline on the resale, when you go to sell your house, you're gonna end up losing some dollars or possibly lose a sale because of the problem with the roof. If the roof is leaking, it's going to be picked up on the home inspection and it's definitely going to have to be repaired or you're going to have to take some money off to have the uh, new owners repair their house. So with that being said, I have a special guest that's going to discuss what you should look for if you plan on replacing your roof now or in the near future. Hey, Mark. Good morning. Mel Goldman. I'm the CEO of Allboro. We're a fixed build and maintain organization based in Amityville, New York. So sure, Mark. Um, I mean, well, when it comes down to putting a roof on your home, whether you're buying it or selling it, if the roof is leaking, you just have to fix it, right? The, the, the question becomes, you know, how do you choose your roofing contractor? Uh, and my recommendation would be to make sure that that roofing contractor is properly licensed and insured in your area, uh, insured being that they carry roofing insurance as an endorsement on their policy, so that if one of their men were, God forbid, to fall off the roof. Um, so if one, you know, making sure you have the proper insurance is critically important so that if someone was to get hurt, the homeowner is protected with the proper insurance policy. Some of the other things today, you know, roofing today is a lifetime warranty on most products, as long as it's installed by the manufacturer's suggestions. So most homeowners don't know that roofing is now lifetime warranty for the most part. you for a minute, Mel. Is that transferable to new buyers? Yes. It is. So that's it a should very be big absolutely. thing. For a seller, you do a roof, lifetime warranty, big plug or big plus to put to market that house that way. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. No worries. Yeah. So it's really important that people know that right, lifetime roofing. Uh, pricing. When you get pricing from, from uh, a roofing contractor, I always suggest you get two or three estimates and then you look at the details. Uh, you know, people always say the devil's in the details. Well, each contractor has their own way of writing a roof and, and, and supplying and installing it. So if you look at and you compare the differences between each contractor, you should be able to see the differences in, in each one of them. Uh, when you're doing a roof, I always tell my clients, take a look at other things. It's not just a roof. Do you have rotted or damaged plywood? Is there any roof rafters that may or may not need to be changed? Um, do you have a problem where you're going to need to change your fascia board, uh, your gutters and your leaders? So these are the things that uh, drive the price up of a project up, but give you a, a great return on your investment for long term. Um, and, you know, so that, so those are some of the things that a homeowner could take a look at, Mark. So always replace leaders and gutters if you're putting a roof on, if they're old, outdated. Yes. Uh, it's a good thing to know. Mel, what do you really need? I mean, can I do a basic roof um, and it will last 25 years if I don't do the fancy architectural shingles? I mean, most people, that's all they get, but I don't even know if the other stuff still exists. Will that be satisfactory if I want to be just get my roof so my house doesn't leak and have it last at least 20 years. Can contractors will still do that? Absolutely, Mark. Right. So some of the important factors, uh, you know, a, a flat roof typically only warranted for seven to 10 years at a max. Okay. Um, architectural shingles, uh, usually now lifetime based on the manufacturer's warranty. 
uh, important other ingredients to longevity of a roof, your insulation in your attic is okay. critically important. Uh, people don't realize that a roof needs to breathe. Right. So if your soffits are not properly vented, then the roof will not have the longevity that you're looking for. So there's a lot of variables and factors that go into a roof. It's not just the shingles okay. of plywood. I got you. Now I can go, we can go on this all day, but in the constraints of time, uh, what I'm going to do, if people want to contact Mel about getting a roof, or in this case, you're a general contractor, you have, you do all facets of interior and exterior construction on houses? Yes, that's correct. And you're licensed in New York City, Queens, Nassau, where are you licensed? So we're licensed in Nassau, Suffolk, Westchester, and the New York City five boroughs. Okay, great. So I am going to include a link down on the bottom directly to Mel and uh, his company. So if you want to find out more about getting a roof done or ask him some questions about your particular home improvement that you need, definitely reach out to Mel. And as for me, I made this great sign. I'm trying to figure out which hand it is. Great sign behind me that says subscribe. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this and two thumbs up. If you like Mel, you can give two thumbs up too. If you like me, you can give another two thumbs up. And what that does is help the algorithm say, hey, this video is actually getting views and people like what they see. We'll see you on the next video.